Hi, this is Londa, and this is the technique that I came up with for getting even more length, as is currently popular, on the sweatshirt jackets. You can do this to any of my patterns as you use fitting method number two. Look with me at the picture on the left. I have folded the sweatshirt fabric so that the grain is straight there along the left fold line. This shows you how crooked sweatshirts are cut out when they're cut out in the stacks of hundreds. You can see that as I place the full pattern on the available fabric, that at the side seam I would have 12 inches of length. I want it longer than that. How am I going to get that additional length? Do you see in the picture at the right, if I take this pattern piece and scooch it up, do you see I fold it down a little bit? That folded down part, I can cut out of some other fabric. And I like to use polar fleece because it's readily available in a similar thickness or loft to the sweatshirt fabric. If I do this, do you see that I can achieve 16 inches of length at the side seam? Now I can't take it up any further or the bottom of the armhole would be off of the available fabric. So just follow these directions and do exactly as I've done. Fold down the top yoke however much you can to scoot the pattern piece up, giving you more length at the bottom. So here I am. Do you see at the photograph on the left, I have folded down that upper yoke portion. Now I'm cutting the bottom part of the sweatshirt, and you do this for the front and the back, and I've got all this additional length. I have to add for a seam allowance at the top. The fold line on the pattern is really my seam line. So that's how you cut for the bottom. Now looking at the picture at the right, I need to cut the yoke area plus a seam allowance out of a different fabric. As I've already said, I like polar fleece for doing that. The other thing that I want to draw your attention to is that the straight grain of the polar fleece is not going up and down, but rather across. I do that because straight grain of polar fleece doesn't have any stretch and I don't want this seam where I'm going to join the yoke to the bottom part to have any give. I'm going to stabilize it but I still just like to change the yoke direction of the grain so that straight grain is going across. So here then are the pieces that you have. At the left is the bottom of the jacket do you see I've cut it as long as I can, the yoke is folded down, and I have added a seam allowance across the top. Similarly for the yoke, which is shown at the right, I have added seam allowance across the bottom. So these are the two pieces that you'll come up with. Do you see I also have added straight fusible stay tape, or just a straight grain cut piece of fusible interfacing, woven fusible interfacing, to the very top of the bottom pieces. That is to further stabilize this seam allowance so that it does not stretch. What I'm going to do next then is to lap the yokes over the bottom matching seam lines and I'm going to stitch. So here you see for the front and for the back. In this picture I have lapped and I have zigzagged so my seam lines are matched. I prefer to lap rather than seam. If you want to seam and press the seam allowances open, that's fine. I have lapped so that I'm stitching through that um, stabilized edge, and now I'm going to trim off the excess. Once you do this, now you've got the longer front, the longer back, and you are just presented with the creative opportunity. And if you follow along in my patterns, you'll see how I go about it. You just have to embellish. You have to cover up this polar fleece yoke on both the outside and I put a lining piece on the inside as well so that you will be the only one who knows that you have achieved this additional length by adding polar fleece yokes on the front and back for your jacket. I honestly love to write directions. This how-to was part of the freebies on my old website platform and it's recently come to my attention that I was depending on it as part of the directions for my Living Well pattern. I 
thank the person who brought it to my attention, and I'm very happy to offer this and refer to it as anyone else would come to me saying, where are those directions at? Technology changes. I have been just as um, thoroughly responsible as I possibly can be, and I offer these directions here on YouTube so that anybody can figure out how to get additional length using a comfortable sweatshirt as a jacket base. Even if you're using a 2XL or 3XL, which seems monstrous, you will find that once you've cut it apart and folded it on grain, you are not going to have as much length as you might want. Other patterns of mine show how you can add length at the bottom as well. I also use polar fleece there and cover it up inside and out. You're the boss. You can solve all issues. If you can't, just give me a phone call. I'm here for you. Thanks. Have fun.